can't come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patriot Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunca semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. The great forerunner of God's grace, beloved messenger of truth, behold the shining lamp of Christ, the herald of eternal light. He sang in speech and accent life The Christ with bold prophetic cry Then on these prophecies he placed The sacred seal of holy death For in his birth he went before The one whose birth brings hope to all He points to Christ whose gift of life In baptism flows forth for all and by the portent of his blood, the Baptist showed in martyrdom the holy blameless death of Christ that would restore the world to life. Most loving Father, grant our prayer to follow John and tread his paths, that we may reap the fullest share of everlasting gifts in Christ. Amen. Do not be afraid to face them, for I am with you, says the Lord. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal, for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me the snares of death With the anguish of the tomb They caught me sorrow and distress I called on the Lord's name O Lord my God, deliver me How gracious is the Lord and just Our God has compassion the Lord protects the simple hearts I was helpless so he saved me Turn back my soul to your rest For the Lord has been good He has kept my soul from death My eyes from tears And my feet from stumbling I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Do not be afraid to face them, 
for I am with you who says the Lord. She sent an executioner to be had John who was in prison. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted And when I said in my alarm No man can be trusted How can I repay the Lord For his goodness to me The cup of salvation I will raise I will call on the Lord's name My vows to the Lord I will fulfill Before all his people O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord Is the death of his faithful Your servant, Lord, your servant am I You have loosened my pawn a thanksgiving sacrifice I make I will call on the Lord's name My vows to the Lord I will fulfill Before all his people In the courts of the house of the Lord In your midst, O Jerusalem Gloria Patria Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut arat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. He sent an executioner to be had John who was in prison The disciples of John came and took his body and laid it in a tomb O Lord, our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seal. For you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God Men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation You made of them a kingdom, and priests to serve our God And they shall reign on earth Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Gloria Patria et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, Et in secula seculorum. Amen. The disciples of John came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. According to his promise, God has brought forth from David's descendants Jesus, a Savior for Israel. 
John heralded the coming of Jesus by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. As John's career was coming to an end, he would say, What you suppose me to be, I am not. Rather look for the one who comes after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals on his feet. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices upon hearing the bridegroom's voice. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices upon hearing the bridegroom's voice. Now my joy is complete upon hearing the bridegroom's voice. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices upon hearing the bridegroom's voice. I am not the Christ. I have been sent before him to prepare his way. He must increase, and I must decrease. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. I am not the Christ. I have been sent before him to prepare his way. He must increase, and I must decrease. Let us pray joyfully to God our Father, who called John the Baptist to proclaim the coming of the kingdom of Christ, O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. You called John the Baptist from his mother's womb to prepare the way of your son. Help us to follow in that path which the Baptist opened before the Lord Jesus. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. May your church, in imitation of the Baptist, fearlessly point out the Lamb of God so that people in every age may acknowledge that the Lord comes to them. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. John the Baptist did not exalt himself, but acknowledged his role as forerunner of Christ. Teach us to acknowledge that you are the giver of all our good gifts, and that we must use them in your service. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. You called John the Baptist to give testimony to you by his life and even by his death. Help us to imitate his unceasing witness to your truth. 
O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Remember those who have died. Give them a place of light, happiness, and peace. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who willed that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and in his death, Grant that, as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitrix, ut digni officiamur promissionibus Christi.